What up, everyone? MCI ADP Studios. Uh, welcome to the Mixing It Up podcast. It's episode five, but I'm going to stop saying episodes because this one's going to come out before four, and then that shit will get all confusing. And then yeah. when you're on, like, keep it going for 300 episodes, you'll be like, I don't even remember what the fuck right. what I'm doing, you know? Yeah, my so, bad. I'm going to turn that off uh, immediately. <laughs> business, man. Yeah. Busy time. Time, time. time is tight. <clears throat> all right, so... That's kind of why we're here. So welcome to the Mixing It Up podcast. Today we're mixing it up with Phil. Yes, sir. Phil the Great. Yes, Phil sir. Me. Yes, sir. Fangs. Yes, sir. Spit Spat. Yes, sir. What other? Oh, Bars. Oh, man, you can go <laughs> so many different ways. <laughs> it's actually, so, it's yeah. actually 20 yeah. years. It's my 20-year anniversary. Nice, bro. Of making music. So there's, Hell yeah. there's been a lot of projects. Nice. Love it. So, uh, you know, on the podcast, my main goal is to, like, hopefully educate and inspire, right? So yeah. hopefully somebody can watch us, gain some nuggets from it. But I just want to say thanks for coming on because you do inspire me, bro. I see you. Thank you. you you're a go-getter. You're like, fuck it. I'm just going to go do it. Thank you, bro. You know, um, so I appreciate you being on, man. Thank you. Thank you. I feel that's I, that's mutual. It's 100% mutual. I feel the same way. I've seen you work steady for many years, many years. And, I mean, just being here in this space, it's beautiful. You got your whole little thing going on. I like it. It's, it's inspirational. Every time I come down here, I see the board. I see your whole production studio set up here. It's just cool, bro. Well, I appreciate cool. that too, man. That means a lot, really. You know? Yeah. So it's cool to have you here. I know you're a busy man. You're out in the road and all that. So we'll talk yeah. a little bit about that. But I want you to give an introduction. How'd you get started, man? You know, what what spewed your passion in music? What brought that forth? And uh, give us a little uh, just rundown of, of yeah. what you're about, bro. Um, it started, I've always been an artist. I've always been creative. It started, I was a cartoonist when I was a kid. And then I found music and I, uh, my first pair of headphones, you know, and like was able to listen to music up close and personal for the first time. And it just grew from there. It was like that moment was just like crucial. And my dad got a drum set and set it up in the living room. He started playing drums every Sunday. He would turn the Beatles up real loud and start playing drums and and so just being around it and seeing how real and tangible and actually how i could do it uh was really inspirational you know and then i started playing in bands in high school and it, it, what I, was you playing i played bass bass okay yep. that's what i thought you started out yeah i bass. played bass okay, I guitar yeah i played in a group called the Mies. Um, in high school, that's where Filmy comes from. Okay. It was like back in high school, it was cool to put your band's name as your last name oh, on social okay. media. Okay, I gotcha. You know, so it was like Phil Me because I was MySpace. in Filmies. This was Live Journal pre oh. MySpace. <laughs> and you were you were on the fucking internet early days, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, you're always on top of that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it just grew from there. I went from bands to hip hop. I uh, started doing rap. And and started a label, started some more bands, <laughs> and it's just been a cycle. And every time I just like, I've taken a lot of L's, and uh, every time I have, I didn't stop. I went back to the drawing board and I thought of a bigger, better, more improved way of how to approach what I was trying to do before. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a, one of the important steps in goal setting is uh, reevaluate and redo that. So whether that's yeah. consciously, which I'm sure it is on your behalf, but yeah, yeah, I mean, that's how you accomplish anything, man. Keep going. And yeah. life, life is just a fucking series of problems that we got to continuously True. figure out, bro. We yeah. just got to like be able to pick and choose the problems we want to be able to deal with. That's the biggest thing, right? That's very true. <laughs> that's very you know, true. You know, so, um, Real quick before we get into why we're here, because this is like super important. This is why we're kind of throwing this together and everything's coming together. Yeah. Um, before we get into that, I I want to hear a little bit. You were in Brazil. What what's yeah. going on with that? I want to yeah. like I, I seen that on social media, but I didn't really get a chance to dive in. And yeah. Uh, so back in high school, when I played in the Mies, there was a, a foreign exchange student that went to Grand Haven. Our drummer went to Grand Haven. I went to Fruport. 
um, as well as the rest of the members. But the drummer went to Grand Haven. And uh, so this this exchange student from Brazil, his name's Gabe DeMarzo, uh, Gabriel Goudin. Um, shout out, Gabe. Uh, was a huge fan of our band, The Mies. We would bring him up on stage. He would like rap in Portuguese at our live shows and stuff, just freestyle. He was like 15, just killing it. He had so much energy. Everybody loved him. You know what I mean? He was just uh, a star and uh, a brilliant piano player. Like I'm talking amazing. Like when you watch him play, his hands are like, you know, doing the most beautiful thing. And then there's music to go along with that, you know? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But it's, uh, yeah, we've been friends ever since he came out. He was only here for, I think, like six months or a year in the exchange program for high school. And uh, we kept up. He he would call me on Christmas from, uh, you know, Brazil on a super staticky line. And it was just cool, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, so he hit me up and was like, hey, I got this band. We put together uh, a bunch of songs. We're about to record an album. Um, come come down to Brazil and help me produce it. And I was like, all right, that sounds cool. So I, I, he was like, you can you got your passport and everything. I was like, uh, no, but <laughs> I'm American. Yeah, so, I can yeah, figure that, it out. Yeah, right. You know, like right, yeah. so, I I like paid for uh you know like an express one. I got it done. And two weeks later, I was in Brazil, um, Damn, locked nice. up in a studio for thirty days. Hell yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. So what did you, I mean, what you produced it, did you have, as far as just recorded it, tracked it, mixed it, whatever, is that kind of yeah. what you were doing? Or? So uh, I got there and uh, there was a, um, a younger dude named Lucas Kell, and uh, he was part of the group and he was really into engineering. He had gone to college a little bit for it, okay. uh, really passionate about it. Um, so I went there and I, I didn't know how much I was going to be doing when I left, I had no idea about anything. I just hopped on a plane and was like, I'm going to Brazil. You're like, fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> yeah, so. That's inspiring for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a little bit of that in you, a little yeah. bit of that. I literally, just, you know. look, I went yeah. out there with 200 American dollars, but you gotta understand it's a third world country. So that was, their, our dollar is worth like four of their dollars. Okay. You know, so it's like four times as much. So I went out there realistically with like 800 bucks. You got to stretch it a little but bit. But a month, it was a whole month that oh, was out there. That's pretty so tight. It was, it was pretty tight, but I brought an iPad with me, knowing I could sell it out there oh, for a great okay. amount of money. And that's what ended up happening. So I sold it and then I was straight the whole time. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's, that, that's badass, bro. Yeah. Uh, that's, man, that's the highlight of my day here and there. Yeah. So that's fucking sweet, dude. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> Lucas Kell was down there and uh, he, he's a great engineer. He just needs some guidance, you know? Okay. And yeah. so that's why I ended up being was just like the guy that was there. Uh, just keeping everybody on track and and keeping it moving forward. Like, let's not get hung up on a mix issue right now. We're in engineering stage. Right. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah. Little Tracking things like and, that. Yeah. yeah. Like, let's let's move on. Let's keep moving forward. Yeah. Get okay. the project recorded. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I gotcha. So we're just producing the record, really. Just That's it. Yeah. Fucking. This is what we need to do. Yeah. This, but did you have any input? Like, I think this will sound a little bit better yeah. if you do this. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So that's producing the record. I yeah. Mean, Everybody's ears are on it. You right. know. Yeah, they, yeah. 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 Everybody wants to share opinions and stuff. It's very collaborative. Um, nice. We're actually gonna go back and redo it, um, because at this point, the they had been playing the songs. He had this group together. And they were all going out solo playing the songs. Okay. So they all had kind of different variations and stuff of the songs. And they were putting it together in that month. And now he's got like a full band. They they have a rehearsal space. They've been doing the songs as that's, a as a full group now. And that's a very interesting way to look at it. Yeah. To, uh, you know, approach it. I'm yeah. Never... He's got a really cool thing going out there. It's almost like a school it's right. like the beginning stages of a school, like a mastery of your instrument type of thing. Nice. Yeah. Well, cool. yeah, I guess if he's that dope at piano and shit. He's amazing. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. All right. So um, let's get into why why we're here, why we're crunching this in, why we're doing this. Um, I ain't slept. Uh, you probably ain't slept, so it's all good. <laughs> Very little. That's what the fuck we got to do, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, So this is why we're here. So bars, right? Let's talk about it. Yes, um, sir. The... Uh, 
So this is another inspiring thing. One of your fucking like kind of, hey man, I want to do something for the community, bring the community together type things. And man, yeah. deep down, I always appreciate that and see where that effort's coming in because it's really more yeah. of a, you know, I understand it's a networking thing, but it's really just everybody to collaborate and get on the same page. So that's awesome. But tell me some fucking details about it, man. Yes. Let's, let's hear it. The project's called Bring All Ridiculous Styles. Um, it's a rap compilation and then we're also documenting the whole thing to turn it into a documentary film. And I'm working right now, uh, all the details out about it, but I got access to play the film at the Harbor Cinema, which oh, is nice. like the old cinema one and twos up by Meyer yeah. uh, in Muskegon. Um, so we're gonna like actually premiere the documentary on in a real theater. Nice. Like, you know, everybody cool. involved is gonna get to see themselves up on the on the movie screen and shit. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, the idea is I'm trying to bring in all types of uh musical people to work on these songs. So like <clears throat> I made twenty five beats for it. I'm bringing in producers. I, I have a studio space set up. I I, I should go into more detail. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a studio lay, lay space. Line, so. I have a studio space set up to edit video, uh, to record vocals, and to produce music. So there's like three different main workstations just for those things. And then there's a bunch of other workstations to write, right? And it's all in this one space over on Glade, 3318 Glade okay. in Muskegon. So <clears throat> it's open. I'm I'm basically there from 8 in the morning until 4 in the morning. I go home and sleep for like four hours and I come back and uh what's happening is it's free to come work meet network it's the building's been full of producers rappers singers artists in general non-stop since it opened it's uh it's it's just an amazing experience but the idea is come down and help uh, in whatever way, whatever skill set you have okay. that you sharpen, yeah. come down and help us create this compilation. This is a community movement. I wanna, you know, I wanna bring guitar players out. I wanna bring keyboardists out. You know, um, rappers, singers, just songwriters. If you're just good at writing, come write a a, a hook and then have somebody sing it or rap it or whatever you know what i mean like, right okay it's there's no really open yeah there's Just no a creator as far as any kind of music yeah okay no ceilings no really? limits no rules you, like there's no block scheduled time you know yeah like you can sit in there for 18 hours yeah, and ch and just vibe, okay. you know. Yeah, like it's not your normal recording studio by any means. Right, it's not. It's it's not, and people need to come experience it because yeah. it's it's like crazy energy. Well, it's amazing, bro. So the other cram and jam part. What's the other part about it? It's only through December, right? That's it's that, only the okay, month of so, December. So we're trying to do yeah. this whole thing in thirty days. Right. That's and, also part of the and what the day fun. is it? Fifth today day five all right fifth today so i'm definitely going to uh crank this bitch out try to get the word out and word. that's why i definitely wanted to have you on um so anybody that watches my content or checks me out or whatever you know it's always love and i'm gonna get over there i'm gonna produce some tracks i'm gonna yes. submit some beats and shit yes too, we need just, it bro i just want to get um get on there and uh you know because i'm part of the scene too so of shit, course you know. You've been so, you uh, an important part of the scene, bro. Part of the backbone of the scene, for real. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, because you know, you and I have a lot of that in common. We kind of just dabble in a lot of things, and we just like yeah. to create and bring energy and stuff. So, like, exactly. I think if we get in there and vibe on some beats and some production, I would and, love and whatever, to. We'll fucking. I do think it. it's a long time coming, bro. Yeah, for real, for sure, for real. And it seems like this would be the proper opportunity with no limits, no ceilings. We can just. Yeah, just go in there and create and uh, see see what we can come up with, and like I said, I'll bring some production too, and you guys can use it for whatever you know. Yeah, then we'll 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 talk we'll about chop whatever, it up. But yeah. we'll just fucking yeah, yeah. talk about all we'll that. We'll chop but, it up. So yeah, that that's awesome. So it is through December. Um, yeah. So if anybody's interested, you can get a hold of 
You, Facebook Messenger. Facebook Phil. Messenger, Phil Myers, P H I L L, two L's in Phil, M E Y E R S. Phil okay, Myers. Cool. Yeah, the whole time he's been here so far, it's been blowing up. So it seems like everything's going good. So if you're a creator, yes. you know, make, make that happen. So, um,. I'm not. We're not going to quite wrap this up yet. Is there anything else you want to say on that? Because I do want to speak about a few more things while I got you here. Because I don't know. Because you're out on the road and shit. And you're doing a lot of different stuff. Who knows? You might be doing yeah. the studio in Cali in January. So you know, whatever. <laughs> but uh, so, is there anything else? Anything else you want to add to that? I mean, I think that's about it. Just okay. if you're musically inclined, just come down and check out the vibe. At least just come sit down. You know, or walk around, check it out, say hello. Show face a little bit, you know, just calm down. That's the idea. We're trying to come together as a community. Maybe you'll dig it. Maybe you won't. But I got a feeling everybody who experiences this is going to love it. It's gonna well, love it. I, I, it's cool. It's free, too. So it's like yeah. there's no obligation. You, you don't really have no reason not to go out not go I got, down there, get a hold of you a day. I got food. Say, hey, I got yeah. food, bro. I got a whole food table. There's sandwiches, snack bars, water. Like you're taken care of very well. Nice. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. That's awesome. Thank you for that. No, uh, thank, that, that thank shit, y'all. Right. Like, I mean, but that's shit that we need, man. That's, yeah. that, that builds community. So, yeah. you know, that's that's how everybody comes together. Um, all right. So continuing on with, with the uh, what I was going to ask you before we uh, stop there just for one second. Yeah. Um, the podcast, Mixing It Up, you know, educating and inspiring. Yeah. I know. I know you got that. That mentality of man, just go out there, get it, fucking change the approach. If it doesn't work, hit it again, hit it harder, yeah. try something different. Got to. Just build, take all the L's because yeah. we, that man, that's one thing about any kind of art or anything, you got to get used to taking all them L's. For sure. Because that's where everybody gets up, gives up after three L's. Yeah. You got to get like a thousand L's. Yeah, for real. Bro, you got to get a thousand fucking L's. And be proud of each and, one, And be bro. like, I learned this from that one. I learned this from that one. Because everybody be like, this is the fast track to fucking do A, B, and C, to build this, to do that. Yeah. You know, build your fans. This is how you do it quickly. Yeah. Da-da-da-da-da. Yeah, but yeah. It's ne that's never the longevity approach. You have yeah. to fucking learn all those steps yourself. Take them L's. Even if somebody guides you, you're still going to not be able to approach it the same way because you got your own fucking thing going. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So with that being said, yeah. let me hear a little advice. I see, you know, we're going to talk to Robbie, but uh, uh, baby boy Robbie, J.H. Robbie, uh, he's got all, as many names as you got, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're our team because you're like, man, we got a bunch of names. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got two, bro? But, <laughs> all right. But so he's he's on the come up. Yes. So, and so you've been in his ear, right? I'm sure you've been in his ear. Yeah, we've been he's, chopping he's it up. He's obviously taking, taking, you know, taking he's soaking up game. He can understand yeah, he's that, soaking you know. up game. So that's the way to go. And I, I noticed that right off rip with him. That's why I said that. Like, hey, yeah. that's, you know, take it in, you know. But uh, what advice maybe you're giving him, or what advice would you give maybe a upcoming artist that's watching this or wants to get a get a piece, uh, a nugget? Something yeah. they can, you know, besides we just said take a lot of L's, so that's a good starting point. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, what would you say, you know, coming up, how to get where you want to go, whether it be building fans, releasing a record, staying focused like you were saying in Brazil, yeah. that type of shit. Like, what, what, what would you say, bro? I think I got a couple tips I want to say, and I'm going to just lead off with, like, no matter what obstacle you hit, just just do it. Don't let fear stop you don't don't let the fear of failure the the fear of of people not being excited about it the, you know there's so many different thing little things like that that could stop you from just trying and all you need to do is try and if it doesn't work try again and that's it that's a, that's really it that's why that's why I'm doing this right now and it's going so well I just tried a lot of times and I didn't stop trying. Okay. You know? Yeah. But I would say there's a there's a couple smart things to do. Learn the music business. You know? Research it. Obsess over understanding what it is. You know? Learn all the terms. We have Google. You know? It's just a matter of doing a couple Google searches and putting some time in. Yeah. For sure. You know? Uh, learn about distribution. We live in the streaming area, era where you can... It, like everything's at the tip of your finger. So you want to put your product where everything is. 
you know? So you want to be on iTunes. You want to be on Spotify. You want to be on YouTube. So learn the avenues that you can put your music on that and what you have to do to be able to put your music on that because you can't use samples. You can't use YouTube beats. You're right, yeah, you yeah. Know? Which is something we're against in this documentary thing. I'm always against it. I yeah. stopped recording artists all flat out. For real? If people ask me to record them, like, I, I'm not really interested in recording anymore. Like, I'll produce something. Yeah. If you do my beat or whatever, we yeah. can sort of negotiate a price or something. But, I, like, yeah. I don't have no interest in really doing that myself. So yeah. I understand that completely. You know what happened? I, you know. And this is some this is some experience at L that we took. Uh, so Sleep had a song called 93 Foot. For those that don't know, I've been producing Sleep video music everything for the last four years sleep sleep so focused focused. sleep so focused yeah crazy talented crazy um cool ass dude too but you know so he he had this song 93 flow Mm -hmm. and we tried yeah Yeah, that video right yeah with the chill did the video we tried to buy the beat from the producer so we tracked the producer down and tried to buy the beat from him it was this big drama thing bro and we didn't end up being able to buy the beat from him. He was like on some really weird, weird, weird shit. <laughs> it was mega frustrating. It held us up for like three days. We were supposed to bring the song up to 103 The Beat. Okay. They yeah. were going to give us radio spins on it. And we we couldn't do it because we couldn't register the music because we didn't own the rights to the beat. So it stopped the momentum of something that already had a little wave going. You know what I mean? And it it could have it could have extended that momentum and took it to another avenue and took it a little bit further but because we went that route we got held up you know and we ran into an obstacle so we had to go back to the drawing board right shit, that know? makes sense yeah that's uh that's yeah that's something that can easily be avoided there's enough producers in your town there's enough beat makers yeah they're i would all say over. get with a guy and build a sound man get a yeah. get a sound for you you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. like if i mean you can emulate other people take bits and pieces that's how all art is you don't got to copy people but it's exactly. like if you like a certain style beat or a certain style of something everybody kind of likes their thing look you ain't fucking creating nothing that nobody's really never heard before i mean it's possible yeah it is but i mean the majority of people that do music like take inspiration from somewhere. I mean, you know what 100%. I'm saying? Like, <laughs> There's an so, old saying uh, it's uh, good, good artists borrow, great artists steal. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So that would be the advice that you would give those, those two kind of chunks. You know, yeah, bro. Just, you know, Learn the business yep. and try it. Just do it. Yep, just, just do, do it. it. Nike, idea, Shia LaBeouf, yeah. just do it. Do it. Come on. You know what I mean? I, I think I think an important part of that, just do it too, is like, don't wait till shit's perfect. Yeah. That's why I did this podcast. I would like three fucking badass cameras and lights and all that. You know of what course. I mean? Of like, course, yeah, yeah, why yeah. The, Like, who doesn't yeah. want that? You know what I mean? Of course. But just fucking put out... Put yourself out there, man. Tomorrow Try fucking ain't it. promise to nobody neither. No. So if you got something you want to share, you better get it the fuck out there with you. I got a phone you. recording. Fucking what yeah. it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I love your energy, bro. Yeah. I love so, your energy. Yeah. Um Yeah. That that's that's absolutely mm-hmm. true, man. Um, I will say one more thing, too, because I yeah. just want to add on this conversation yeah. at the end. Yeah. I think a biggest thing of of a piece of advice that I see uh, people fall short, and that's something even I fall short on. Yeah. So even when I give advice on this, it's not like I fucking know everything, but I'm just saying things that I've learned, too, yeah. right? My, of my course, story, yeah. My, Same so, for me. <laughs> you know, uh, it's the consistency, man. Of course. How the yeah. fuck, like, you can't come out with a song and then wait four months and come out with another song, fucking disappear, post once on social media, and then fucking post every day nine times for a month and then go on a, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like staying consistent. You. Constant drops, working on your craft, working on your business. Like, it's just a constant treading yeah, grind. Pick, and you got to stay consistent and stay relevant. It's, pick yeah. some sort of pattern. It You know, it could be once a week you do this. It could be once a month you do this, once a season you do this. You know what I right. mean? Yeah. Just pick some sort of pattern and stay consistent. 
Yeah. That's it. It's the consistency, man. That's it. And you know, keep trying. In to all stay things. Consistent. In yep. all things. Yep. You know, whether all it's things. booking yep. shows, writing songs, uh, promoting, marketing, you just stay consistent and follow patterns. Yeah. That's how the world. That's how everything operates. It's all patterns. Period. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So that that's my biggest thing. That's one thing that's been on my mind lately is just the consistency I see of some artists. It's like, yeah. man, just keep it going. It's like, you know, there's that thing. It's like, don't put out something if it's not perfect because you only get one chance to make a first impression. And I kind of believe that maybe in the audio realm because it's so easy to get a good sounding song or a decent sounding song. Yeah, you should, yeah. should sound like trash and put it out there. Like, don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you're making some kind of production, man, just get your art out there and fucking Do go it. for it, man. Yeah. And then keep at it because... The long run, the consistency, you got to think of them thousand L's, them two years, them fucking yeah, three bro. years. And then you're like, okay, I learned all that shit. Now I'm ready to fucking be on this frequency where I can fucking see my path and gravitate and attract that towards me. You know yeah, look, I made, that's how it works. You know? I made 25 beats for this project. I made it in two weeks. So I had the idea and the deadline to start it was coming up in two weeks. It like... So I made 25 beats straight in two weeks while I was working on the road. But, and they were all great, <laughs> but I used to make awful beats. And there would be strings, you know, maybe I'd make two or three cool ones in a row, and then I'd make some garbage. Right, yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it got better and better. And now it's at a point where it's consistent. Yeah. Because I kept trying. It's consistent yeah. now. You know what, what I mean? What do you use to make beats? Ableton or Ableton? Yeah, that's what I thought. I never fuck with that. It'd be something, you know. I, I like know it's it. different. I know I there's like cool it. ass shit on there because like you can do like certain sample stretches right on fucking grid and it like yeah. matches shit up in key the, and all the kinds time of warp shit. stuff. Like, is yeah, like, like I heard that shit is just real and pitch bending. And it's like, yeah, like yeah, because it like well, you can tune instruments in there and shit like super easy. Whereas in NFL, it's a little more super fine tune shit, too, yeah. like real fine tune. Yeah, like yeah. that's how a lot of uh, producers I have seen that make a lot of their own samples. You know, just by fucking fucking yeah. whatever. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, they yeah, yeah. they pitch it because then they put everything in, in key. You know, yeah. in key, key of C, yeah. and then fucking all your samples are in you know in key. That's cool. Shit, so you know, but uh, um. Two quick things. We're going to wrap this thing up. And we're going yeah. on about 30 minutes, minus the few technical difficulties. But yeah. we got all this shit on camera. Everything's ready to go. So, dude, I'm super fucking happy that you came through, man. And uh, I really appreciate it, man. It's Thank you. time we collab on something. We're going to get together before you yeah. take off again. Yeah, like I said, it's a long shit. time coming, bro. We've known each other. For a long time, we've chopped it up oh, yeah. many times. Yeah, we have. I've come <laughs> to you with the L's that have yeah. taken oh, yeah, yeah. ideas. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it happens, man. I, I do this shit all the time, so I'm right yeah. there with you. I, I, I think that's a badge of honor. Yeah. They ain't nothing to be ashamed yeah, of. For Fuck real. with anybody. Yeah, I said, wear that bro. shit with pride. Yeah, I don't care. Right there, I took man. a lot right of L's. I am not perfect. <laughs> yeah, yep. But I'm doing well right now, so Fuck come yeah. check it out. You Hell know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Um. So, biggest question. After this is said and done, this um, December uh, thing, what's next for you? And then when's the document release? Those two questions, and then we'll wrap it up with your socials yeah. and we can get on. I it. can't drop a date right now, but I'm trying to do the first premiere during the filming of the documentary. So, like, we want to we want to show it uh, one time uh, sometime after Christmas and then film that night. I want that to be the ending of the documentary. Just oh, okay. Everybody going to see it. Okay. At the premiere, so it's going to be only up until that point in the film. You know, it won't right. be the full finished thing. It won't have everything in it, everybody's story, but it'll give a chance for everybody working on it to come together and see it while we're in it. You know, because nice. that the whole thing behind this is we're living in this. Right. I'm up there, twenty hours a day. Right. Living in this. You know what I mean? So I want to capture that moment. So then after that, though, you know, we'll see how it does. We'll do a couple showings in January. And nice. We're trying to go to film festivals, get distribution deals, okay. all that. Hell yeah. So you're doing most of the film and editing all that as you go then. So you're kind yeah. of editing video yeah. and fucking the whole thing's going Yes, up. sir. Hell yeah. That's pretty dope, man. Um, so... What's next for you after that? Okay, we got December um, showing the film, blah 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 blah. You, you're 
you were going on the road again doing yeah I go, job, yep. traveling and shit right working yep. on shows and yeah production. mid-january my i have a contract and I, I tour around i'm a tour manager okay so i have a contract that runs from mid-january to like may so i gotta go do that um and I'll be brainstorming what I'm going to do when I come back after that. <laughs> nah, hell yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So social media, one last time. Uh, how do you get a hold of you? How do we get up? How do we get to uh, the bars? Tell them that one more time and then yeah. uh, we'll wrap this shit up. Like, Yeah, bars, you can you can find that on Facebook. It's at Bring All Ridiculous Styles. Okay. And ridiculous, I had to learn how to spell it for this project. It's R-I-D-I-C-U-L-O-U-S. A spelling bee chant. No, use ridiculous in a sentence. <laughs> That's ridiculous, bro. <laughs> Check out That's Rob Deardex's ridiculousness. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So, uh, yeah, man, we're going to wrap this up. I really appreciate you coming on, man. We're going to get this bitch. Uh, yes, sir. Fucking, I'm going to work on this probably after you leave, get the audio edited and try to get it out as soon as possible. Hey, I like uh, the I, energy. I, I'm not going to get um, the little week of promo and all the clips chopped like i will but i'll i'll, I'll put the clips out afterwards because i chopped some clips and shit cool and i'll send you some clips if you want to with the little things across if you've seen what i was doing on i don't know if you've seen the stuff i've been doing the other podcast like with the little i haven't like, what man you i'm talk sorry. about yeah and that's fine i will but, yeah, yeah yeah so i'll send you a couple little clips i'm gonna chop up and shit so yeah. you can use it for your face or instagram stories they'll be shaped for that and all that stuff so perfect that's cool. beautiful but uh get with this dude bro he's mega talented been mega talented for years Come down to the studio. Oh, I will, man. For sure. You have to. Yeah, dude. I, I have no fucking excuse. Like, yeah. I'm not working next week. And, You're going to find some you know, dope talent, bro. The, all I do is sit here during the week when I'm not working is and work. That's cool. So, I mean, yeah. that's I can go there and work. That's what we're doing. Because I, I know that's why I don't go nowhere because my work ain't somewhere else. I need you to go fucking <laughs> work. <laughs> work, 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 work. <laughs> All right, man. So we got a couple minutes left. I'm going to actually uh, want to hand it over to my man, Robbie, over here. I just met him today. You want to yeah. give him like five minutes and just let him uh, speak on some stuff? Well, I'll just cut a little yeah, clip I wanna, too, I wanna you give want. a, Yeah, I want to give a – can I do man? a little – yeah. uh, so do the documentary film – is going to do like exposés, you know, like little backstories on okay. artists that I'm meeting through the process that I, I, I like their energy. I fuck with them. You know what I mean? Right. Like, um, so Robbie's one of the prospects for this. He, we're going to do a little backstory on him and, and, and his life story, you know, a little bit. Okay. Not, the, not the whole thing, but a little bit. Cause right. we got to share time with lots, yeah. of, lots of other artists. Yeah. You got to know. But there's only a handful uh, that I'm doing this with, and Robbie's one of them. So I just, you know, this, this is important. That's right. what I'm saying. Okay, cool. Yeah. So thanks for coming on, man. We're gonna. I'm just going to cut it probably right here, and then I'll just have you come on, Robbie, and I'm just going to ask you a couple quick questions, yeah. man. Like I said, we'll get a little five minutes in here. Uh, you and, then and thank you. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, Thank man. you. Oh, yeah. Amazing.